Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Calamity Mod playthrough. So we're on episode 4 now, and some things have happened. Oh, I want those. I need to buy a net right now. I don't have one yet for some reason, but I want them night crawlers immediately. That's really good bait. It's like, what, 35%? Yeah, that's crazy. So I've done some stuff, as you can see here. I've managed to buy a bunch of dynamite, and I got all the way down to hell so my elevator is now complete i found this thing which shows me the like most valuable ore nearby it also tells me if there's a life crystal or a chest nearby which is pretty handy i found this little mushroom area that had a cool chest in it with some stuff and then i found a very large mushroom biome up in here which you can see on my map so this will probably be where i end up fighting the crab which is actually our next boss and the reason i'm saying that is while i was clearing out the elevator the Eye of Cthulhu actually happened to spawn and we beat him. So I'll probably fight him again on camera just so you guys can see me do that and get the satisfaction of that being done. Yeah, I'm all the way down to hell now. I didn't do any exploring in here because I wanted to let you guys see that at least. But yeah, we got shadow chests. My main reason for coming here is of course, as always in this game, oh, this thing hurts really bad. Nope, don't let that fall. That's nice to get now though. But my main goal from going here as always is to find one of the hell forges yeah we just want to look for a hell forge here i don't really care too much about anything else so you just need to keep an eye out obviously i'll have to clear all this stuff out at some point to build my platform for fighting the wall of flesh but that is not going to be a while for a while obviously i mean we're not even close to being done with free hard mode stuff i like to just be hooked to things in hell because it's very easy to get bounced into lava and the hook stops you from um being knocked back which is very nice Okay, there's our health forge right there. Oh, it does appear that there's also a health forge down here. So I might just grab that one. But we got that. Go ahead and probably pop a recall to get back. I need to turn auto pause off. That does more harm than good. So annoying. But yeah, pretty good progress. As you can see, my life is up to 340. Not sure where it was at at the end of the last video, but I probably found some life crystals on my way down. Yeah, getting some nice fishing bait is always pretty handy because fishing will be necessary later. This is so close to my base. I'm so terrified. I might have to just buy a bunch of dynamite and start clearing that out. So many of these enchanted night crawlers around. And getting the guide voodoo doll is really nice as well because we go, we already have one of those. So whenever we decide we want to fight the wall of flesh, we can just do that. I don't think we're anywhere close to that yet. Still got a bunch of stuff to go through here before we get to them. Crabulon is up next. I'm gonna see if I have any more lenses. I need to get some more storage space i need to start using those um since i have so many materials and stuff now i need to start using the storage mod i have installed so i think with this here the wolfram scrap which we can get some more of i think i want to get this here the wolfram controller because it's actually really good summon it just summons this droid that shoots things and it does a lot of damage and i can also make them focus their energy on me that gives me extra health regen and defense they're just pretty handy in general and, you know, I got the schematic from the Sunken Sea Lab. Nothing too interesting. I found this Garden Cloud in a bottle to give me double jump, which is really nice. And it has two defense on it, so I'm probably going to swap it out with the Shield of the Sea. I doubt I'll be going underwater anytime soon. And getting that double jump is really nice. But yeah, we're making some great progress. I did some good stuff off video. Okay, so you don't have to worry as much about exploring. Three defense is good, and the dash is good. Guess I'll get rid of this hasty ocean crest. I don't really care. And equip this. I do want to hide it though, because it's kind of ugly. I can still dash with it. And it shows up when I dash. It does some melee damage. I know melee is like really broken in this pack. Oh, slime rain. Okay, so we're going to fight slime king first, I guess, today. I guess what I'm going to do is run over to my boss platform I already have set up in the desert for the slime king. Go ahead and do my best summon I have, which is this guy. I also got three truffle worms, which are you, you know, used to summon Duke Fishron. So that's pretty handy. I mean, obviously not for now. Duke Fishron's like way down here somewhere. Yeah, right there. So, you know, it's not a problem for a while, but it'll be nice once we get there to go ahead and have some of those. Doesn't he spawn after a certain amount of um, slime deaths or something? I don't remember. I mean, he should be a really easy boss. I'm not sure if he really drops anything we care about, but we're just gonna chill. And kill these slimes until the big big guy gets here and then once we get up to the hive the mind thing because the perforator hive is after the hive mind so we once we get up to here or sorry sorry the brain of cthulhu so after Krabulon, i'm going to try and focus up on trying to get the best weapons and armor and stuff that i can for this point in the game where's this dude at 
Come on already. I'm ready to beat you up. I've killed so many of your children. Yeah, we do want to kill some of these guys. That Wolfram guys, because I want to get that summon pretty bad. It's really good. Significantly better than this thing. That's for sure. Well, some of the slimes have like gold in them, which is nice. So, I mean, I'll take the money. Okay, the king slime finally spawned. Okay, when he's on the ground, I think this is better DPS. Suck up your juice. Okay, he's dead. He's very, very dead. Easy. So now we got Stratford. Little homie. We love him. We got... Oh, my inventory is completely full. We got some pretty good stuff here. I don't really care about this. Grab all of this. And I saw gold up on the platform. There's a king slime thingy. Got the hard royal jill. Slime just slime becomes friendly. But it gives one extra defense. And then we got little baby guy. Which is cool. But yeah, that's done. Pretty easy. Just another thing checked off the list. Can I make this thing? Yep, there we go. So now I have this. So I can get rid of this guy. And summon the drone. And he just shoots stuff around me. Oh, and I got a pretty good roll on it too. So very nice. So between videos this time, I'll probably work on storage. Because it's getting pretty bad. I don't really care about the ninja stuff. We have a pretty big amount of money at this point. But we have 61 gold coins, so we're sitting pretty. Um, let me just check. Yep, I do have enough glowing mushrooms. So we're just going to go over to the the crimson. Go to a crimson altar. And we're going to craft the boss item that we need for Krabulon. I'm not even going to be able to focus on the fight because his music goes so hard. I'm not even kidding. Let me go ahead and like make some holes here. Yeah, right. I'm just trying to like... Stop the corruption from or crimson from spreading as much as I can really. This should significantly slow down the encroachment of the crimson. But my main goal is just to stop it from spreading super quickly. Because if we can just keep it over here, that'd be great. Because then it's really close. I mean once we get into hard mode, see there's the perforator cyst. So if I kill that thing, it'll spawn the perforator. So I need to be careful not to break it. I mean it has a thousand health, so it's hard to do on accident really. I just need to be somewhat I just need to be thoughtful. This area is so nasty. But yeah, my main goal for today was just beat Krabulon. There we go. Not consumable. Only one of them. The boss items not being consumable is really nice. Very handy, very handy. I might just go ahead and toss like a hundred bombs or something out here. This should hopefully do it a, do a decent job at stopping it from spreading. It's not the most efficient way of doing this, but it's the best way I have right now, pretty much. Yeah, I think I need to go all the way down to these caves here and lower, because there's crimson in there. Just so rough. But we have the Krabby Lawn item. I'm going to clean up my inventory a little bit here by pressing this button. And like I said, I'll clean out everything later. For right now, I just want to get some stuff done. But I think we're okay. And I'm, I'm going to need some wood. Definitely. Also, there's a thing I can make. Hold on. Because I'm still lugging around this copper axe and the copper hammer. But if I can just make two sea remains, then I can make this. The reef claw ham axe. So that's a hammer and an axe and it's better. So I can just get rid of these and clean up my inventory. Oh my gosh, the cat is sitting in the robot's lap. That's my, the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, sold. And I got this thing. Just makes my life a little bit easier. I'm going to cut down some trees. Enough wood to build a decent platform. I don't need anything super big, I don't think. It's, I mean, it's been a long time since I fought the crab. Like, probably at least two years. But I think I should be okay. And I'm only on normal difficulty, and this is a pretty hard mode boss, so I'm not stressing too much about anything. I mean, I might be starting to get a little bit behind on gear, if I'm honest, but I don't think I need to worry too much. The prosthesis and the sandstream scepter should help me enough to get me through. Yeah, we can just go through here. This is where I opened it up before. Guarding claw carapace. Five percent. Ooh, I like that. I'll put that on. Okay, so we just need a basic little thing here. Nothing too crazy. Just a basic little area for fighting. I'm going to toss some bombs down. Open this whole place up a little bit. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this, I think. So now we just want to build a nice high up platform. I don't know what that means. But I am frightened by the implications. Or just use up all the platforms I have and that'll be big enough. I don't really think I need that much space. I think it's enough space. Let me get rid of this so it doesn't mess me up. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. So I think this is pretty good. I'm going to drop down. And I'm going to eat some food. And we're going to have a go. Wish me luck. Oh, I fell on my head. Oh yeah, here we go. This music is so good. Yeah, he shoots out the sprouts. He's just sitting down there, sticking out his spores at me. He's just gonna die for free. He's dead. That was extremely easy. I didn't even need to build a platform, but it did help. I got so much gold. Did I miss any drops? Doesn't look like it. Small Krabby Lawn. Oh, there he is. I'm keeping that on. 
Bleeding fungal clump summons a fungal clump to fight for you. Clump latches onto enemies and steals their life. Puff room. Cute mushroom warrior to fight for me. Yeah, it doesn't really look like I got anything that interesting. But we got it. We got it knocked off our list, so that's pretty handy. We did drop a lot of gold. I'm gonna look on the wiki real quick and see if I'm missing anything. So the puff room is one of the weapons that it can drop. The summoning puff room looks like this. He's just bouncing around. I don't really know what he's doing. Doesn't really do much of anything. So I don't think that's as good as the drone controller. I'm just gonna get rid of it. And then we're gonna fight him again. There is a weapon that I kind of want from this called the Hyphae Rod. So it does like 22 magic damage and it creates mushroom spores. Um, they're very good for bosses that will move into them, like uh, like the perforators. So I do want to get that. So yeah, we're probably just going to kill it because it's not that bad. We're just going to kill it until we get that. Depending on how many tries it takes, I'll let you guys know once we actually get it. Where did he spawn? He's in the roof. There he goes. Now he's dropping. Oh, he's actually on my platform this time. Oh yeah, that's what that thing does. Oh my gosh. The thing is actually pretty sweet. So I might equip this. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep killing him. Basically just like an extra summon. But my DPS has gone up significantly with this guy on equipped, so. Obviously the defense is not that great for other bosses where I might wanna rather have the defense. Probably be better. This thing drops a lot of gold anyway, so I am getting a significant amount of value from killing him this many times, even without the thing dropping, so it's not really all that bad. Okay, he died again. Take this again. Got the far fungal clump again. Oh, this one has uh, armor on it, though. Does this one have any rolls on it? This one goes too- this is way better. That is really good. And we go again. Easy enough. Yeah, we're killing him faster and faster now. We got this again. Oh, that's four defense. I think that's better. Yeah, that's better. This one, don't care. Find your side again, don't care. There we go. So we got the high fire rod. It's got a bad roll on it, but you get the idea. But we're finally done with that. We have a, so much money now from doing that. We're gonna back out of here and sell some stuff and figure out how much money we really have. That grind only took 20, 25 minutes, so that's not too bad. Got decently lucky with the drop minus the bad roll on it, but you get the idea. It just spawns these spawns these four things when enemies pass through them they do a bunch of damage monday's episode was a bit shorter and i want to make up for not being able to upload some other series and taking a week off so we're going to try to fight the next boss on the list today so we've got the brain just a vanilla boss but not one i have fought as many times as the year of worlds i tend to do corruption on mine so we're just gonna go and we're gonna go to the crimson i'm gonna clean up my inventory first by just pressing one button Put my gold away as well right now we're sitting at almost two full platinum at this point we're running out of space i really gotta get on that next episode make all the platforms i can i'm not really gonna this one can fly though so it might be worth building a bigger platform but eh. i'm not really that stressed about it the brain the crab was really easy the eye i killed on accident so i think we're pretty safe for this fight tbh to be honest and we're gonna have to go underground anyway to find the crimson hearts yeah, here, I'll show you. This spider's gonna come at me, so I'm gonna show you. Oh, it's gonna die before it gets to me. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't even have to do anything, and I'm not playing summoning. I just have these dudes. But we just need to look for crimson hearts. There's some. There's a crimson heart right there. So we're gonna go for that one. Yeah, this is a pretty good area here for fighting. Since I have a hook and a double jump too, it should make it easier to move around. So I, honestly, I think these two would probably be enough for me. But if I die of fall damage, then you guys can make fun of me in the comments. I won't be upset because i'll deserve it okay now i should be able to get it to break we'll see what we get out of this okay we got the undertaker that's a gun pretty good okay looking for more hearts there's what there's these are the last two so once i destroy i'll make it that one down there because i can just toss a bomb down there and run that it'll summon the enemy the the brain toss a bomb here there's the crimson rod that's the magic one so it just does like spawns these clouds that rain on enemies this is very, actually very good. We'll try it out. I've got a bunch of weapons to try out because my minions kind of just destroy everything. I can only have one of these active at any time. I think it's just going around killing everything. I think that this shouldn't be that hard and we should have it handled pretty easily. I don't think I'm gonna use that for this because it doesn't really do that much damage in all honesty. I guess that makes sense since you can kind of just come get it at any time, but okay. So this next bomb is gonna summon the, is gonna summon the brain and we're gonna have to run. I'll come back to loot it in a minute. Okay, the brain is here. 
And he's summoning his little eyeball things. So I can do a decent amount of damage too. I'm gonna start putting down spores. Okay, most of the eye little most of the ads are dead. He's half, he's half. This guy's so lame, not in expert mode. Let me drain you of your juice. We got him. That was quite easy. So you got the crimson one. Now we got the brain of Cthulhu lore. We got the brain of confusion. This guy doesn't really drop much, but he does drop crimtain ore and tissue samples, which is what we need for a lot of the crafting. So now we just have to head back and check out what we can make with these tissue samples. All right, we get crimson help crimson armor we also use to make the obsidian armor which is for summoning really good summoning set this is for just melee i think unfortunately oh yeah the deathbringer pickaxe which is what we need to mine hellstone we can make a crimson altar to keep in our base so that's cool but the main thing we need to worry about is the deathbringer pickaxe so we're gonna go ahead and smelt up all of this crimtain stuff that we have which is we have a lot of it now we can make the crimson armor which is a lot of defense to be H, be honest, but it's for melee, so I don't really care. And then we can make the Deathbringer pickaxe. So we just got defaulty, no no rolls or anything, but I don't really care. Um, this thing is pretty helpful. We can get Hellstone now, so that's pretty big. We can make the Flesh Catcher, which is a pretty decent fishing rod, which I might do and get into some fishing. But yeah, wow, what an absolutely insane episode. Goblin Army, dude. What is happening? What is happening this episode? I will clear the goblin army as well, I guess. I mean, this isn't as interesting. These guys are kind of babies, so I'm, I don't really care. Don't kill my cat. I'll be so mad. Don't kill my villagers either, I guess, but especially not my cat. That's just messed up. My homies are helping out a little bit, but we're over 60% done. I don't think this is going to take very long. I think this unlocks the little mechanic guy, right, that we can find. And that lets me reroll my uh, attributes on my gear, which is really helpful. And we, we've done it. Goblin army is cleared. They are no longer going to spawn. So we just need to clean up the remaining and then pick up whatever loot drops, if anything else did. But I think we got everything. Okay, yeah, that's basically it. So we got this Nimble Plasma Rod. It's kind of doo-doo, so I'm just gonna sell it. And that's about it, I think. Let's check the traveling merchant real quick, and then I'll call this episode. Let's talk about this nice painting, this lovely artwork. And that's about it. So I've been Captain Blamo. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you next time. Peace.